Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Asad Yaqub here and I welcome you to my academic IELTS reading latest test pattern video. Okay? In this video I'm going to tell you what is the latest test pattern of academic IELTS reading and if you're planning to appear in IELTS test of in a couple of weeks, couple of months or even in a year or so, this pattern is going to be followed. Well guys, this video is based on Cambridge IELTS book number 19 and the pattern that they have presented in book number 19, I'm going to tell you as per the four tests which are given in that book, how to go on and how to prepare, what to focus, what type of questions should be focused and all that. Okay, well, as, as far as book 19 is concerned, if you open the book and see in passage 1, examiner is mainly focusing on two type of questions and these two question types are sentence completion, where it is one word and or a number, one word only. And second important question type in academic reading part 1 is true, false, not given. And in total, there are 13 or 14 questions over there. Okay, now when you are preparing for academic reading part 1, you need to focus true, false, not given and sentence completion and most importantly both question types are type A. I have coined this term of type A and type B questions. Type A means questions and their answers in the passage, they are in same order. What I mean by this is when you find the answer of question number one in the first sentence of a paragraph, question number two answer will come after that. It may be the next sentence, it may be two sentences after, it may be a paragraph after, but they will follow the sequence. In part one, examiners mainly focus on type A questions. This is as per the latest pattern. As far as part two is concerned, in part two, more type B questions like uh, which paragraph contains the following information. Now that question type is type B. Questions and passage, they are not in order. They are in random order. For one question, you have to search all the passage. And second important question type is list of headings. So for list of headings and for this, in part two, you need to focus. Then in every part of IELTS reading, I have noticed this thing, there must be three to four, four to five, five to six, completion type of questions. It can be in the form of summary completion, notes completion, diagram completion, table completion. So they would be completion type of questions and the good news is completion questions are type A, questions and answers are in order. Then we've got important question type, yes, no, not given, multiple choice. They are all type A questions. Once you find one answer, you read on, you will find the next answer. You read on, you will find the next answer and on and on and on and like this you'll find all the answers. Then we've got another important question type in part three. Okay, let me come to that. In part three, most important questions that we have, they are yes, no, not given. Along with that, we have multiple choice questions and most importantly, we have a question type that is called matching the statements with the researchers. So there is a list of researchers. You have to match the statements with those researchers. That is another important question type. So uh, over here, when we talk about matching list of researchers with their statements, statements and the passage, they are not in order. But those names, for example, A, John, B, Julia, C, Robert. Now, John, Julia, Robert, they will appear in order in the passage, okay? And then in part three, we do have summary completion. We do have yes, no, not given, multiple choice questions. So this is the latest pattern of Cambridge IELTS. And if you want to see this latest pattern in action, I strongly recommend Cambridge IELTS Academic book number 19 and there are four academic reading tests and I advise you to go through all four tests before appearing in your actual exam. And if you complete all four tests and you appear in actual exam, you will find something similar in your actual exam. One of my students, she was very happy after receiving Cambridge IELTS books and she said, sir, there are 19 books. I will go through each and every book and tell me everything will come from these books. Yeah, 
and I replied, nothing will come from 19 Cambridge IELTS books. These books are past papers and these papers have been released. Now, nothing will come from these 19 books, be it reading, writing, okay, listening, speaking, some topics may appear. But otherwise, nothing is going to come from Cambridge IELTS book. So don't just see Cambridge IELTS. I mean, IELTS is a test which has got a pattern. You have to follow the pattern. What is going to come in the test? That is withheld with Cambridge. Okay, they are actually, what do you say? They are taking care of that. That is not leaked. Those tests are not leaked. Those tests are the part of Cambridge IELTS database and from there they administer the tests. So you cannot actually, uh, what do you say, you cannot get it beforehand and all that stuff. So guys, that's all. Thank you so very much. This is all about the latest pattern. If you are planning to prepare for IELTS online, I teach IELTS online all over the world. If you are from Lahore or you can come to Lahore, I offer my IELTS masterclass in Lahore and we offer IELTS test booking service all over Pakistan. We offer IELTS single module preparation if you want to prepare for a single module. We have IELTS uh, PTE online classes. So if you want to get any of these services, our WhatsApp numbers are mentioned, you can contact with us. Asad Yaqub wholeheartedly wishes you best of luck with your IELTS preparation. Take good care of yourselves. Allah Hafiz.